dimensional analysis. This is this discusses uh, how you would convert from one unit to the next. Okay, so uh, we've shown you a whole bunch of units, uh, meters, uh, kilometers, uh, gigameters, and all these things. How do I go from one unit to the next? And I'm going to use the ABA system. Uh, and uh, simply put, it's if I have a unit of A, I want to get rid of it. So I'll put that at the bottom. A cancels A, and I'll put the one I want at the top, and I'll get B. That's the ABA system, the ABBA system. Okay, so here's let's look at this. I want to convert 73.2 feet to centimeters, and I know that one inch is 2.54 centimeters. How do I do that? Okay, I need inches. I have feet. Okay, so we know that there are 12 inches in a foot. All right, so this is how this is the ABA system. I don't like feet. I want to get rid of them. I want inches because I know that how to go from inches to centimeters. Here. Um, so I will put the foot at the bottom to cancel this foot. And that's how that works. And I'll put inches, which is what I want, at the top. So 73.2 times 12 over 1. So 12 goes with inches. 12 inches in a foot. So 12 goes at top, top. Okay. I'll do a, a billion examples. Don't worry. Um, then, uh, now I don't want inches. I want what I was asked for was centimeters. So I want something to cancel my inches. So inch goes to the bottom. Centimeter goes to the top. What, where does the number go? The number goes with the unit. So centimeter goes to the top. The number 2.54 goes with it. So it's 2.54 at the top. So I punch into the calculator. 73.2 times 12 times 2.54 divided by 1 divided by 1. And I get this. And to conform to sig figs, I only need uh, 3. Right? So it will be 2230 centimeters. Or uh, convert to that 2.23 times 10 to the third. Okay, let's look at examples, lots of examples. Uh, all right, convert uh, 5.2, and then this, this ends chapter one, uh, but it's so, so important, chapter one, to the rest of the stuff. Uh, beyond chemistry, uh, I can't stress this, dimensional analysis and sick pics, you will see in many classes. 5.2 liters to meters cubed. How do I do that? So uh, what you need to know, is that one meter, one meter cubed is equal to a thousand liters. Uh, I'm not sure on an exam which ones you'll be given. I, I'm, I'm assuming you'll be given some of these and you'll have to memorize others. I don't know if you have to memorize this or not. I'll check. So uh, 5.2 liters to, uh, to meters cubed. Okay, how do I do that? Knowing this, well, I want meters cubed and I want to get rid of liters. I don't like liters. I don't like them. So liters goes to the bottom. And I want me to skew. That's the ABA system. And liters go away. Okay. How do I know where to put the number? So I have, I know that one meter cube is a thousand liters. So I put the thousand at the top, the bottom, what, that this goes with the unit that it's attached to. So liters is at the bottom. So it's a thousand. And this is one. And I punch that into the calculator. 5.2 times one divided by a thousand. Right. And I get that this is 5.2 times 10. Uh, times 10 to the minus 3 meters cubed. Got it. That's it. Done. Great. Let's go to the next one. I'm telling you, we'll do a whole bunch. Okay. Convert um, density. Let's do density. The density of nitrogen is 0 0.808 grams per milliliter. I want this in kilograms Oh yes, kilograms per meters cubed. Okay, let's do that. So 0 0.808 grams per milliliter. So I have two units here. Okay, so I could do them independently, and I'm going to have this huge frac uh, a bunch of fractions all together in dimensional analysis. Okay, so let, we'll focus on one first. So let's let's deal with with um, milliliters. I'm, um, no, let's do with grams. That's easy. Let's go from grams to kilograms, and then I don't have to deal with the with the grams again. Okay. So how do I get rid of grams? I have grams at the top, so I'll put grams at the bottom, and I want kilograms. I put that at the top. So now this thing will become kilograms, which is what I want. I want this to be kilograms per meter cube. Great. So grams would cancel. What to do? What to do? Well, I know if I look at my 
uh, in my table that I showed you before, that there, there's a thousand grams in one kilogram. Great. Okay. So that took care of my gram and kilogram. Wonderful. I want to get rid now of milliliters uh, and I want to go to meters cubed. Well, I know I told you that one milliliter is a centimeter cubed. So I'll do that. Let me get rid of milliliter. Milliliters at the bottom. I want to get rid of it so it'll be at the top so I can cancel it. Uh, and then centimeter cubed at the bottom. What numbers do I put? Well, they're both one. That's kind of silly, but that at least got, got me into uh, centimeters cubed. Now I have centimeters cubed here. That's cool. Okay. Lastly, I want to go from centimeters cubed to uh, meters cubed. So I want to cancel my centimeters cubed. I'll put that at the top. And I want to go into meters cubed. I'll put that at the bottom. Do I know what the conversion for that is? Off the top of my own head? No. Uh, so how would I do that? Well, I know that there's 100 centimeters in a meter. This is how I would do this if I don't feel like looking this up or memorizing it. Okay. So I know there's 100 centimeters in a, in a meter. I want centimeters cubed. Well, let me cube the whole thing. Cube this guy. I could do that. So this would be 100 cubed is 1 meter cubed. That is true. 100 cubed, that's 10 to the 6th. Uh, yeah, 10 to the 6th. So it's a million. A million. Oh, I can't. This thing is so stupid. So 10 to the 6th uh, centimeter cubed is one meter cubed. That's my conversion factor right here. So I'm gonna put that up there. The 10 to the sixth goes with centimeters cubed. And this is one. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to the calculator and I'm gonna use my calculator to do all my work for me. I don't have to do this myself. So, uh, but I have, to, I have to direct the calculator. I can just trust the calculator to do the conversion for me. So I go in 0.808 times 1 times 1 times 10 to the 6th divided by 1,000 divided by 1 divided by 1. I put that all together uh, and I get that this is 808 kilograms per meter cubed. Done. Okay. Let's look at another example. I promise you a bunch of examples, you'll get them. Okay. Convert. 53.1 miles per hour to kilometers per hour. Okay, and the thing you need to know, 1.6 kilometers is one mile. Okay, so let's do this. 53.1 miles per hour and I want to go to kilometers per hour. So I don't have to change the hour thing. That's nice. So um, the hour stays at the bottom. Well, I'm not touching it. I just want to get rid of miles. So I'll put miles here and kilometers here. What's, what numbers do I put in? Well, 1.6 is attached to kilometers. So 1.6 goes here and one is attached to miles. And I put that in and I get that this is uh, 85.0. Uh, kilometer per hour. Okay, so 85 is 53. I guess sure. All right, so um, that's that's that. Uh, let's do another one. It's going to be a little bit more involved. Determine. I want you to determine uh, the density. Find the density for a cylinder. that has a diameter of two millimeters, a height of 18 centimeters, and it, a weight of 1,200 milligrams, and report in grams per milliliter, okay? I need, I need to put this in grams per milliliter. All right, so I have, first of all, uh, density is mass 
over volume and I want this in grams per milliliter okay that's what I want all right so uh, I need my mass in grams cool so let's do that 1200 gram 1200 milligrams I want this in grams so I know that there's a thousand milligrams per one gram milligrams cancel and I get that this is 1.200 grams okay I got my mass that's it. the volume is a little bit trickier not so tricky tricky though I have a cylinder what's the volume of a cylinder volume of a cylinder is radius and this is my height right and my volume is going to be the area of this of this space times the height Uh, so I want them to be consistent, by the way, anyway. So I have the height is 18 centimeters, and I have the, the di diameter here is 2 millimeters. Ooh. So I want to convert this to millimeters, to centimeters, so that they're, they're the same language. Okay, so 2 millimeters to centimeters. Well, uh, there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter. So I get that this is 0.2 centimeters, okay? I also know that I need my radius, right? So my radius would be a half of that, not 0.2, but 0.1. So this is my density, my, my diameter, so my radius is 0.1 centimeter, okay? My height is 18 centimeters. Great. So now um, I'm going to find a volume. Volume is going to be pi times 0.1 centimeter squared times 18 centimeter. And that, believe it or not, I didn't actually do this. Let me do it quickly. Uh, times 0.1 times 18. So this is going to be with sig figs. I only have. I can only trust. Uh, well, I can only trust. It seems one sig fig. So the calculator spits out at me that's point five six five five uh, centimeter cubed. But I need to use sig fig analysis, and I only can only trust the first one. So it's point six centimeter cubed. Okay, so I have this as 0.6 centimeter cube. All right, let's go up here. Wonderful. So um, I have my volume. I have my mass. Okay, I want this in milliliter by the way, nine centimeter cubed. So let's convert that to milliliter. One centimeter cubed is one milliliter. So that's 0.6 milliliter, great. So I can find my density easily now. Just divide them. Uh, 1.2 grams divided by 0.6 milliliter. Uh, and that's it. And I get that it's two. Two um, grams per milliliter. And that's all I can report to because I only know one significant figure. Okay, so hopefully that made sense. Let me know if you have any questions.